is the last of the good stuff, boss. I know. Some of those bottles I've had for ten years. But we hey guys, this is John T. I'm back in the video. It's gonna be a uh, mission. Let's try to figure out what we have to do. Good to see you, boys. Boss. Any word on a job I pulled with Salvatore? You did fine, Tom. Galati's got nothing on us now. We bought some time. At least until the money runs out. Don't go selling off the farm yet, boss. Sam says you worked out an angle. Yeah, and you're gonna love it. We make a few bucks and knock out a couple of Morello's teeth, too. Okay, what's the rumpus? A couple of weeks ago, I'm relaxing in the cigar lounge at the Blue Tropics. Where? Some small-time whorehouse. It's just a couple of closets with some mattresses on the floor. It's a gentleman's club. They got a bar and everything. <laughs> Anyways, one of the Johns is south. And he's crying to the madam about all his troubles. He catches my ear on account of his goofy accent. He's going on and on about how he just landed this huge payday. But the goons he's working for are already twisting his arm. And he's got the busted nose to show for it. You pick up his tab? Hell no. But I walked him out of the place, took him to the diner around the corner to sober up. We get to talking. Turns out his name is Gates. He's this hick up from Kentucky. Moonshiner? Uh-uh-uh. Better. His pop's got a couple of real distilleries. And I'll give you one guess as to their exclusive buyer around these parts. Morello. And you think he wants to burn bridges? Oh, yeah. I've been working him steady, boss. He's bringing up another shipment tonight, but he's got his entire crew ready to roll over. All we gotta do is make it look like a proper heist. I don't know, Polly. You really trust this guy. He's got no love for Morello, I'll tell you that. Not like we got a lot of options here. Mm. We'll be cutting up the last beam pretty soon, boss. What do you think, Tom? We need to replace the Canadian. If Polly says this Gates can do that, I'm in. Where's the meat? The big parking garage downtown. Okay, do it. But you better not be playing grab bass this time. You take Carlo and little Bill with you. Sure thing, boss. Once you have the truck, drive it back here. We won't let you down. All right, boss. sounds like a plan. Don't make me regret giving you some We just gotta the take the booze you and. <laughs> I know I don't. That make it like a look like a heist. I'll keep your driver safe. Nothing boss. can go wrong there. Damn it, I get it. Obviously, I'd be the person to drive. Let's do that. This new guy here, he looks a little bit. Well, I don't like him. You okay, Carlo? Looking kind of like you shake yourself. Ah, get bent. Big moment, huh? Finally running with the pack. Listen, I spend more time with a Don than all of you've put together. Sure, sure. Sat out on the road waiting till he's finished with his broad. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be a bad one. Careful! If you don't want me to come, I won't. It's fine. Boss doesn't have to know. Now nah, you're coming. The boss said you're coming. Just, you got a face like you're being taken for an errand. I don't want Gates thinking we're frails. Why is Gates sell on Morello anyways? First time Gates pulled in with his trucks, Morello decided to change up the terms. The big guy himself popped him in the nose as part of their renegotiation. His nose is gonna get more in a pop if Morello hears we're involved. That's why we're pretending to stick him up. Then he'll go back to his pop and tell a sob story about being robbed at gunpoint. He'll convince his old man that Morello can't protect the merchandise. They'll need to find a new buyer out here, and he's heard of a stand-up guy named Salieri. This plan is some bullshit, Tom. Polly told it to me yesterday, and somehow it's gotten worse. Hey, when you get a lead for the boss, and you don't just drive him places, then, then you get to pick holes. Till then, Shut your damn mouth. Ah, whatever helps you sleep. When Morello tracks you down, don't come crying to me. You serious? You actually serious? Fellas, knock it off. Christ. Yeah, I don't know why Sam has to be negative about it. Paulie has a very good idea. Might actually just work. 
And why does he have to mention Morello? Like he's gonna find out. Careful! Anyways, we're just about there. Let's try to wait up. I do a lot of deals here. Parking attendant don't ask for much dough. Always closes up shop till I'm done. Okay, we're good. Gates is waiting up on the top floor. Not too sure what this big trunk like thing is on the back of the cars. Like most of the cars have it. Place seems clear so far. Only people with cars are people with jobs. Nine to five, place is deserted. Well, we got jobs and we're here. That kind of a job, sure. Yeah, this is the kind of job that nobody wants to do. Anything else we need to know about Gates Bowie? Only that he's got a bust up nose and crates full of the good stuff. Our kind of guy. Our kind of guy. Oh, this parking lot is making woozy. Ooh. Park up over there. Holly, good to see you, pal. Yeah, you too, Gates. Well, I hope you all have good taste in whiskey. I ain't really the expert here. Tommy. You notice their hair are going a little bit gray now. Your first payment. It's like they're if getting older. We'll finance more rents. And each one's gonna be bigger than the last. We're all gonna be rich, boys. Well, we are always happy to do business with good folks like Don Salieri. Please, give him my regards. Sure thing. Now we just gotta conclude this transaction. <sighs> What was that, man? No, no! It's okay. Oh, what? I told you we gotta make it look like a proper robbery. Damn thing's gonna be crooked by the time I'm done with this city. Ah, don't worry, pal. With all the dough you're raking in, you're gonna be able to pay for a new one. <laughs> oh, we've got company there. Just uh, try to take out the guys and forget out what happened. It's helping Morello's guys. Okay, we're done. How the here. hell did they know about this? Because you always shoot your mouth. Gates took a bullet. Well, that's a bad thing. This ain't as bad as it looks. And take the booze and get. My guys will come for me. No, go, go, go. So long as you guys clear them out up ahead, I'll be safe here with the little guy. Carlo, in the cab with me. You know you stead. Tommy, check for more of them. This thing ain't over. Come on, I'll back you up. All right, it's uh, that kind of mission where we have to make sure that the vehicle survives, which means the truck. So we have to escort the truck. Do I have to get a car or I think it's going to be on the foot. Yeah, I can't really get the car right now. The truck actually is stopping for me. It's gonna be on the foot. We got more of them. Seen him. Oh, we got some other guys attacking. There's a few more guys left. I think it's gonna be the same thing on every floor. And I'm not even sure how many floors we came up. Probably three or maybe four. So yeah, it's gonna take some time. I like to go for the headshots if I can with the gun or the pistol, like that. It's better than the Tommy gun, I would say. Oh. 
Otherwise, you will have to spend three bullets per person. Let's try to get some extra health. The animations in the game are messed up. They're not really that good. For a remake, they should have made better animations, but it's okay. The game still has a very good story, so. Alright, let's go for the next batch of the wave. There you go, a few more guys. So let's try to take them out. Well, they just uh, exploded themselves. And okay, the problem is that we've got fire. We gotta put it out. Look for extinguishers or something. I see fire sprinklers up on the ceiling. We need to turn them on. There's gotta be a valve to turn someplace. Yeah, I'm trying to find the way inside. Is there a way through this fence? No. Ooh. The fire hurts actually. Find a way in, Tom. I don't really have a grenade to blow up the grill. Yeah, there's a door here. Conveniently. <laughs> Let's try to get there. So many hidden areas in the game. Oh, there's a guy here. He almost took me out of the wall. You know, you messed up the health bar for me. Wow, we have another first aid kit, so that works out just fine. Not a good thing. Alright, let's try to uh, turn the valve. Nicely done there. Yeah, collect some extra magazines as well. Yeah, well, let's try to do that. I'll move the truck with you. You see more, you shoot him. Knew this wasn't over. And over the next wave is ready. No way to these guys. Nope. Oh. They're ripping you apart. <clears throat> I'm just trying to be careful. I thought that was one of our guys. I was trying to figure out who was shooting at us. Yeah, I think I'll have to change my location though. I don't see the Tommy guns in the game. I don't really like these guns. They're not really effective guns has an attack weapon, there's no other option, so they're not accurate. I think this will maybe this was the way this gun used to work. It definitely is very loud. I'll tell you that, but it's not a very effective weapon by far. And the problem is that every time you go on a mission, uh, the ammunition and the guns are allocated to you. It's not like you can buy something and then you have it forever in these kind of games. And all the ammunition is like based upon the mission that you're doing. So, alright, we do we have to get a car or is there another? Yeah, okay, we have a we have to get a car. So. Grab a set of wheels and watch my back. Sure, Sam. All right. How the hell did Morello hear about my deal? All kinds of beavers in this city. For now, let's get the booze back to the warehouse and try not to die. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, something that's happening in all missions anyway. 
I knew it! We got more guys on us! Okay, let's slow them down some. Hit them where it hurts! Uh, this is one of the rare occasions where the nudge thing actually worked a little bit for me. Alright, both the cars are down. So she just gotta keep it like that. Make sure everything works just fine for us. Just about there. All oh, there's another car coming up. There you go, we bumped it. Should be out by now. There you go, that car is out of commission as well. Oh, there's some police as well. I'm actually getting better at the drifting thing. So I guess we are too. And like I said, I crash it. All the truck is all almost done with. It's almost destroyed. I'm not even sure how far you have to go. That car coming out. They don't stop coming, do they? Yeah, definitely not. Okay, this car is going. Problem is it crashed right in front of us. So we have lost a little bit of speed. Yeah, I don't think any more cars are coming. Yeah, I think we're safe now. That was a little bit better. I think we lost them all. Thank Christ for that. Let's head home. See what we got. We got the booze. I mean, I know it didn't go to plan, but we got the booze. got the booze, yeah. Yeah. There's a warehouse. But tonight, me and you are gonna drink a bunch of it. I guess we earned that much. Right, there you go. We parked the cars and everything is good. Looks like a 38. Morello's boys caught up with you? Yeah, boss. We took care of it. What about the kid from Kentucky? Uh, he took a slug to the shoulder, but uh, he's a tough blocker. He and his crew dusted out as soon as we bumped off Morello's hatchet, man. Getting shot will give Gates and his pop another reason to ice Morello out of the whiskey business. Well, let's see if this hooch was worth all the trouble. Excellent. I'll work out the details with Papa Gates. But once we're running this Kentucky Brown, we'll be back in brass buttons. Good work, son. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of all of you. Saludo! There you go, another successful mission. I'll come back in the next video, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.